This is Paul Ura, a National Weather Service warning coordination meteorologist. He's snapping photos of the damage across central Texas. All of this is very common with what we would consider tornadic damage. You know, most times when we come out and do the damage surveys, it's is it a straight line wind? Is it a microburst or is it a tornado? This this we know it was a tornado. So now his work comes down to documenting the tornado's path from the ground and figuring out how strong those winds were. Bent fences and snap trees, all clear signs of tornado damage. Now in Texas, we're no strangers to them, but climatologists say what's new is our expanded human footprint. You know, there's there's that component, the human built environment. We're growing up right shopping malls in suburbia and expanding the urban corridor. But there's also a shift in where tornadoes are happening. Scientists are seeing a shift from Tornado Alley to the southeastern part of the U.S. You're seeing a lot more in places like Nashville, Tennessee or Tupelo. Researchers are still trying to figure out how climate change plays a role in small scale disasters. Jana Hauser thinks drought in the south central plains or Tornado Alley could be a factor here. So if we're drying out the soil, we're drying out the low levels of the air, we're less likely to see the types of storms and, and even the ability of the atmosphere to generate those types of storms in comparison to a, a more moisture rich area. Caitlin Carmo, KXCN News.